Peace, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday. I know it's been a minute, but we're back, because I went to Target, and I picked up a couple of goodies. Today we're gonna be trying the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, paired with the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless mattifying primer and sunscreen. So the Maybelline Fit Me is like a fan favorite, especially for oily skin, especially for drugstore, but I haven't tried their tinted moisturizer. I will say I have become a huge fan of the Fenty Ease Drop tinted moisturizer, just not very cheap. So I'm looking for a nice affordable drugstore product that might be just as good. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Mattifying Primer Sunscreen with Clay. Normal to oily skin, has SPF 20, one fluid ounce bottle, supposed to be a lightweight formula, minimizes shine and blurs the appearance of pores, extends the wear of makeup, provides a matte finish. Wear alone or under makeup. Well, let's try it. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am wearing a wig. I did not cut and dye my hair. I'm just getting bored with my hair. So I'm like, I got a lot of wigs. I should wear them. Ooh, either I'm hot or this has like a nice little cooling sensation. I kind of like it. Goes on with no like white residue like sometimes sunblock does. It smells like sunblock. Is it minimizing my pores? Okay, interesting. It does kind of feel like a creamy clay type texture. There we go. Nice little subtle glow to it. But the main test is to see if this keeps me mattified throughout the day. So let me give you pricing on these. Because, <laughs> you know, I went to Target and didn't just buy one or two things. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to double check, but I think I paid $6.79 for the primer and $8.99 for the BB cream. So I'm going to try this two different ways. I'm going to try it with a brand new beauty sponge and a brush to see what gives me the best coverage. The Fenty Ease Drop, they say to use your fingers, but I didn't get like any coverage when I did that and I love using a brush for that. So it does and can make a difference. So let's start off with the brush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer for all skin types, 76% natural ingredients with aloe. Buildable coverage, 12 hour hydration. I feel like when you have oily skin, we often run from words like hydration, glow, because we already are very uh, moisturized in the face. But actually, if you have oily skin, that is your skin telling you that you need more moisture, so it creates that oil because you don't have enough on your skin. So don't think that drying out your skin is the solution. Let's do side number one. Hmm, color looks pretty. Wow, look at that coverage. So with just one little squeeze, it actually went a long way. Oh, I was supposed to do the beauty blender. So then I got more coverage with the brush than the beauty blender or beauty sponge, excuse me. I got like 10 beauty sponges off of Amazon for like $8, I think. I'll link them below. They're pretty good. Okay, so out of the two, I think I do prefer applying it with a brush. So I'm just gonna blend this down my neck. Okay, first impression all on its own. It's a tad bit orangey for me. It's not like an exact match. Once I put on the rest of my makeup, it might be able to like blend in and look better. But going to the Maybelline website, there is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 shades in total. It's a pretty even-ish fair range, I think, of colors if you're gonna have a limited amount like that. So I realized right on the front, I am the color 330, which means there are one, two, three, four, five, six shades darker than my skin tone, which is a good kind of starting point. They kind of have like two of each shade range. Doing a little price comparison, I do see that it's $7.99 at Target and it's $9.99 at Ulta. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Much better. Wow, that was probably a very dramatic change. <laughs> it looks really good. It's giving me a nice glow. I'm not shiny, like I have like my, my shimmer, but that primer might be keeping things under control. I did get a very late start today, so it's already seven o'clock p.m., but for this type of look, I probably would have gone for a more full coverage, thick, real foundation, but this little tinted moisturizer is holding up. So at first I was a little nervous about the shade, but I think it worked. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm really happy with how it looks thus far. 
So for the price, the coverage, I'm happy. But I'll come back in a couple hours and show you how well this does on my oily skin. And I'm back. I try to stay up as late as possible. It is now 11.17. That's about five hours of wear. I just looked at myself in the bathroom mirror and everything looked great. And now I'm in front of these lights and it's a little more intense, but I do think it's still really good. At this point, I usually grab my oil blotting sheets. We're gonna try something new today. I got the Revlon oil stick thingy from TikTok and I've been wanting to use it and it does work, but I haven't showed you guys yet. So Let's try it today and see the difference of the shine. So this is how I look after about five hours of wear. Good. I don't think it's claiming to last a certain number of hours. Oh, 12 hour hydration. Hydrated. Let's do this. The area. Wow. Do you see how it sucked up all the oil? Shiny. Not shiny. It's like a volcanic rock or something magical. I don't even know. There's definitely a difference. Cool, huh? I'll make sure to link this again for you guys. It's been in my Amazon store. And it's pretty affordable too. Okay, here we are. So now that I have removed the oil from my skin, I think it looks really good. Especially just for being a tinted moisturizer and not like a real foundation. Not bad at all. And it's under 10 bucks. Cool. So I had to compare this to like a high-end one like the Fenty Eavesdrop. The Fenty Eavesdrop is a better shade match for me, but that was like at least double or triple the price of this one. And I haven't really been a fan of a lot of BB creams. I've never, they've never really been my thing. I think quarantine kind of changed my mind on that because <laughs> we haven't really been full glam in like a year, but I like it. Have you guys tried this before? Let me know, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Do you like how it looks? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.